Sunday. Got any brunch in here? Yep. That'll do. Sneak preview and also kind of a cry out for help for parts video. And I'll probably share this somewhere, maybe on some truck pages and put some posts out there, but we need help. We have looked high and low for brake parts, carburetor parts, and ignition parts, and just not having any luck. And I don't know why, it should be, it's just a six cylinder international, but this stuff here we can kind of clean up, make do, and it should run all right. But the big concern are the brake parts, wheel cylinders, different stuff like that. And I know for a fact on these particular setups, we're gonna be into wheel seals, hopefully not bearings, but to get that pulled off to gain access to the internal brake parts. But we've looked around, no such luck. So if anybody out there has any good resources for parts and even just general knowledge about these particular model trucks, it'd be very handy. But a 1956 International S160. It was restored probably 20-25 years ago and was actually used to haul some wood planing and sawing equipment out to a local event they put on to feature old tractors and trucks and different kind of old farm equipment and the last time it was drove the drive shaft came out of it and I think the reason being it was too short I believe they stretched the wheelbase on this truck at one point and chucked the drive shaft and hasn't run since and that was probably probably 10 15 years ago so it just got pulled out yesterday and I guess that was a struggle bus ride from hell getting it pulled out of the ground i to take a quick look under here yep dual hydraulic so the main thing is we just want to make sure that stuff I'm sure it's gonna probably come down to rebuild kits and probably use parts but if we can get new these kids like to ride along with these things we just want them safe and reliable back tires are all right I think the front ones are not so all right yeah, it was sunk in there pretty good. What kind of tires we got on here? Okay. Another Firestones. That ain't so bad. What's the size? Eight point two five by twenty. Yeah, I'm sure you can find them on clearance at Walmart. Real simple. <laughs> I believe we ran it here. I don't know, a few years ago. If I remember right, I know the exhaust manifold is leaking really bad on it. That's all that holds that stuff on. Can't imagine why that would leak. I almost bet this is empty. Wow, okay. That's a good sign. But any help at all of trying to find resources for parts that'd be great if anyone could help comment or share a link or whatever take a look inside I don't think there's any critters in here that's what they all say oh, this is pretty neat Okay. What do we got here? Four speed. Oh, and a two speed. Four speed with a two speed rear axle. That's pretty neat. Very cool. Brake lock. For burnouts. That's all show approved. I bet you this is. Oh my god! Moving on. Yep. What does this do? A lot of neat tractors here. 
This particular one's got a rather funny nickname, but to keep it appropriate, I'm just going to call it Tractor. Farmall Super M, we call this the bulldozer, and I'm sure in the future here you'll figure out why we call it a bulldozer. That loader don't look like much, but it can take a lot of abuse. Trust me on that. Come summertime, we take these tractors out. Got some acreage of marshland back there and work them, plow, tree work. Those are fun little tractors. The shiny one's mine. I wonder if it even turns over yet. I sure hope so. Huh. Oh yeah. Still turns over, that's a good sign. Real good sign. Hmm. Well, that's where that thing sat. Guess I could talk about this one too. 1962 Chevrolet can't think of the model number it's a big truck another one we're gonna get going this summer actually we had it running here maybe a couple of years ago but neat neat old rig another one we're trying to find parts for two brake parts this and that I believe this box actually hoist yeah it does have a hoist like three grand worth of lumber to fix that up nowadays yeah very neat Actually, I put a clip in here from when we drove it last, probably three or four years ago. I remember right I think the yeah that's normal brakes are probably they're not existent at least that works I believe this is a five and a two speed rear axle nope it's a four speed fucking seat I just get a kick out of these gas tanks being behind the cab no smoking I wonder if this is any good It'll burn. I know we're having a hard time getting pieces for this too. I would like to switch this over to the Chevy electronic ignition. I think it's obviously got the point system, but 290-ish somewhere cubic inch six cylinder. I believe it was rebuilt, so it should run pretty good. At least it did somewhat run good the last time. I know. There are some definite carburetor issues. I'll try to see what kind of carburetor's on here. Good old Earl Bath Air Cleaner. What the hell is that thing? If anybody out there has any idea what the hell that carburetor is, there's a tank here. Let's see. I know some stuff. I don't know it all.
Yeah, without taking that off, I don't see any any kind of model number other than what's on that tag. So if anybody out there has any info on what that carburetor is, I'm thinking maybe it's like a maybe a Zenith carburetor, maybe if that was a thing on these. But if anyone could let me know, that'd be great. But if you follow along the next month or so, you'll see all this stuff getting going. It's always it's a good time. Yeah, you really gotta appreciate how simple these things were back in the day. I mean, they're nowhere near the power or the luxury of a newer vehicle, newer truck, but talk about stress-free. But yeah, guys, any information or any leads to a good source of knowledge or parts for a 62 Chevrolet truck like this or a 56 International would be much much appreciated so tag along this summer hopefully um we get these things going even sooner should be a good entertaining time there'll be a lot of stuff going on down here that i'm sure you guys will get a good kick out of well until next time thanks for watching we'll see you later